It's really important to have something else to focus on other than snowboarding. Sending it! Just to get your mind onto something else. Just to have other hobbies during the summer to help you get better for winter time. I'd say I'm obsessed with speed. Snowboarding, you go pretty fast. When you're gonna hit a jump or in general, I like going fast. It gives you the, the adrenaline that you want. It's super fun. I love driving cars. I don't know why I have such a passion for cars. It's just something about the force and, and everything that a car gives you. I just bought myself a new Audi RS6 and it's a really nice wagon to have on the road for sure. This car has 600 horsepower. You can really feel it. It's an absolute beast. I definitely feel like driving a car helps me improve my skills on the mountain. With cars, you can go really fast and you gotta accept the risk with it. And that's exactly the same thing with snowboarding. If you misjudge the speed, you can get really hurt in both sports. <laughs> uh, you just gotta have a, a clear mind and really focus on the things that you do. And I feel like some things that I can bring into snowboarding, be 100% on it and yeah, go for it. We're here at Rydskogen, Norway today. We're gonna meet up with Dennis Auger, a Formula 3 driver. He's insanely skilled. He'll give me some tips that I didn't really know that I needed. It's gonna be fun. Yo, what up? Hey, man. Yeah, you think it's gonna be fast, or? I hope it's gonna be fast. I haven't floored it yet, so we're gonna floor it on the, the side right here. What's the most challenging part about this course? It's probably gonna be the, the back straight, because yeah. it's so downhill, and See you that. are bringing so much high speed into the corner, so you're gonna just be on the edge with the car. On a snowboarding competition, the adrenaline just rushes through your body and you really, yeah, you just want to do well. And it's going to be nice to stand on the start line here today and basically try and feel the same. You want to drive fast, you want to do well. I'm expecting donuts. Can't wait to try it out. I just hope I don't crash it. <laughs> and we're on track. Dennis on the side right there just telling me, go faster, go faster. I'm trying, but I'm scared. I think it's being a bit careful with this car. I always want to improve on the things that I do in snowboarding. I feel like the progression never really stops and I feel kind of like the same with cars. It's crazy to think like in snowboarding how far we come with the things that we do and I just want to have fun and, and do my thing. Aside from snowboarding and my car, the one thing that I'm the most passionate about is gaming. Gaming is definitely a huge part in my life. I've been gaming since I was a little kid. So that's really been helping me throughout the years. The same with cars. Ever since I got my driving license, I've basically been living in my car. In January, I got this gaming simulator from Red Bull. Super fun to drive. You kind of have the feeling that you're driving an F1 car. It's a crazy thing to have. Uh, everything is sit super low and the steering wheel is kind of like the same. Super helpful. So we'll see how good I am on the track today. What up? How did it feel? Feels crazy. Obviously you don't want to push it too hard with your own car, but oh. try and push it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really often nervous when I snowboard. If I do a trick or if I'm gonna do a trick that it's really scary. There's just one bad thing. I haven't heard the tires scream yet, so that means there's still something there. It's definitely the corner that gives you the most adrenaline rush. It is scary to do the things that you basically do every day. Oh, look at them sending it! Don't need to worry about anything. Explore. <laughs> I've always wanted to get into the motorsport industry. When I stopped doing snowboarding, 
I for sure want to try and get into the, the sport. That would be super cool.